So with the discussion of personal property, we need to address the differences between lost, misplaced, and abandoned property. Now, when I say those words, you might think, well, lost, misplaced, and abandoned, they all mean the same thing. Uh, within law, they actually have different meanings, and depending on which category the, the property falls under, um, there are different responsibilities to the person that finds either the lost, misplaced, or abandoned property. Okay, so let's first take a look at lost. So I have an example here. You find a watch laying in the street, okay? That is an example of lost property, okay? And the reason for that is the person never intended to use their watch, okay, on the street and leave it behind, okay? We're gonna see how that plays out when we look at misplaced. But if you find lost um, items, you are required to try and find the owner. Okay, that's your responsibility when you find lost items. It's not finders, keepers, uh, losers, weepers. You, you have a legal responsibility to try and uh, find the owner. Now misplaced, you find a wallet at a restaurant, store, etc. Okay, misplaced because the person intended to use their wallet to pay for things at the restaurant or the store. Okay, they had an intention to use it at that place and they just misplaced it and left it there okay there's a slight difference between lost and misplaced okay so if this is the case then you need to leave the wallet with the store manager okay you're not required to try and find the person you just need to leave it with the owner of whatever establishment you're at and then it becomes their responsibility to hold it and try to find that person okay so lost is more of a public setting misplaced is you're at a, a business where you find something that isn't yours abandoned okay now this is the example here owner is discarding with no intent to reclaim okay if you see something for a with a free sign on it along the road that mean that that means that the person is trying to get rid of that property they're getting rid of it they don't want it they never want to see it again those items, if you find you know, a deal like that, obviously you're allowed to keep it because the owner is abandoning it. They're leaving it behind. Um, so you know, if you see an instance where there's a couch or something that has the word free on it along the road, you're welcome to take it and you have no responsibility to um, ever give it back. Okay, so that's the difference between lost, misplaced, and abandoned. Stolen items, okay? First bullet point here is pretty common sense. Person with stolen items, they have no right to those items. If you take something, you steal it from somebody else, just because you have it doesn't mean that it's yours, okay? It's still the, uh, the, the person that you stole it from, they're the, still the owner and have the right to that personal property. Okay, the second bullet point is a little bit more interesting. If you buy a stolen item, even without knowing, you are required to return to the original owner, okay? So if you buy something, um, even if you don't know that it was stolen, but it was, and then the original owner comes and knocks on your door and asks for the stolen good back, you have a responsibility to give it back to them, okay? The, the original owner never lost control of that item, okay? That's the third bullet point. You never lose title or the ownership of items when they are stolen from you. So obviously, in our day-to-day -day lives, we don't check everything that we buy to see if it's stolen. We have good faith that if we go into a store that the items for sale there, you know, are, are legal to be sold, okay? Now, if you're buying something from somebody else, like say you, you get on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, then you probably wanna do a little bit more research and make sure that this item, especially big ticket items like cars, okay, or appliances, you want to have a little bit of assurance that this is actually their item to, set, to sell and that they didn't steal it from somebody else, okay? Because if you don't check it out and you know it was stolen, then you know you still have a legal obligation to give that item back to the original owner, even if you paid for it, okay? So doing your homework definitely pays out here.